Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City where we want to help you build a Lego city regardless of the space you have. Any Lego city needs minifigs, so it's always really welcomed when Lego releases their collector minifig series. And this is series 1919 and it comes with 16 different characters. I managed to get 13 over here. I visited my Lego store today with Annie and we fell to the different bags to see if we could get all the different characters. However, there's only one open box and we managed to get 13 or at least what we think we got 13. We didn't get three characters, but we would still be able to feel them inside. In this video, I'm going to give you a blind bag guide uh, to tell you how to feel for the different items and we'll see if I'm right because I generally had the final say or decision on all the different packs we have in front of you. So let's start off by taking one by one. Now I don't have that little booklet with all the different characters. In fact, in the Lego store, they didn't have that as well. So I was just going by this, the outside of the packet. And uh, the way you want to go about doing this is to feel the packet and you want to look for accessories. Now the reason I go for accessories is a head, a torso and foot or legs generally feel the same. So you can't tell them apart. And of course, you do not want to look out for the base plate. See, there's always a large base plate over here. Uh, this is what the minifigs are standing on or should be standing on. So you want to ignore that. You want to go for accessories. So look for something that feels odd. Sometimes you can get a headpiece or a helmet that helps as well. So I've got something over here. And this, this is long. Okay, this to me is this flamingo over here. Yeah, it's definitely the flamingo. So I'm quite sure it's this one over here, which means it's this uh, pet owner or this lady. Now, if I do want to really make sure I'm right, I'll look at the other accessory and she's got a leaf or flower, flower about the flower, I guess. So it's a stalk with leaves. So I'm going to look for something with three leaves, a stalk and three leaves. And yep, I think I have it over here. So I'm going to say that this is the lady. So I'm going to try that out and let's see if I am correct. So I should have that pink flamingo. Yep. And there you can see that's the flower or the stalk. That's a torso, her legs. And let's, let's get that. Yeah, there we have the pink flamingo. So that's how you look for this uh, lady or the pet owner. All right, so that's one for one, pretty good. Now let's go for this one over here. So once again, I'm feeling and uh, looking for parts, accessories once again. So I know this may seem incredibly dull, uh, but this is what you do when you stand at the shop to do it uh, and you look like complete fools uh, for people who have no idea what you're doing. Okay, so this has, uh, I feel, a helmet of sorts. And wait, okay, I got one part here. So that's a very distinctive accessory. Yep, I'm not sure if you can see it here. It's actually conical in shape. Let me show you what this probably is. I can open this up now so that you can actually see all the different minifigs so i'm feeling a conical part so if you look at all the minifigs the only one with the conical part is this fire girl here so i'm gonna bet that this is the fire girl so let's check that out so it's very distinctive and you generally will have to look through all the parts or feel through to make sure that and uh, make sure there are no other parts that seem similar. Yep, that is the fire girl. I've seen her outfit. And where's that conical part? So that's her headpiece. And I'm still looking for that conical part I was feeling. Here we go. And that was what I was feeling right there. So that was the hint uh, to tell me that this is the fire girl. So let's go for the next one over here. Once again, I'm feeling for accessories. I feel something right here. So there's something small that's, that's good. 
but it's indistinguishable. That's a torso. So you always want to shake things about as well. That helps. There's, there's a headpiece, maybe a helmet of sorts. Oh, but I feel this. Okay, very distinctive. This is a square brick. It's a one by one brick. Can you see that? Yeah, one by one brick. And if you look at this, the only thing with the one by one brick is this coder or gamer girl. And I felt that small piece, that's a one by two piece, uh, but it's rounded. So there's obviously some kind of robot. I believe she's a coder. And I read somewhere that if you look uh, at a t-shirt, it says Lego in binary. Not sure if that's true. But another thing you can feel is this laptop, uh, which would be inside as well. But once I got that one by one brick, I knew for a fact this must be that Coda Girl. So let's have a look inside. Yep, it is the Coda Girl. And where's that? Yep, I see that one by one brick. There you have, that's the one by one brick I felt. Great. Next one over here, that's a hit. I ignore that. Torso, I ignore that as well. Something, okay, so I feel a big helmet once again. And legs, base plate. So sometimes you can't feel for the accessories, so you just have to be patient. Shake it up a bit and try again. again. Okay, right now, you see, I feel this. So this, can you see that? That's not a base plate. It's too small for a base plate. It's a towel. So once again, you refer to this. And there are only two things with towels of that size. There's the pizza boy and there's this gamer boy. But with the pizza boy, there's this distinctive triangle pizza that's definitely not inside. So I'm very sure it must be this piece over here. Now notice this uh, space bounty hunter. He has a towel as well, but there is a rod attached to it. So there's a rounded part. This one is completely flat. So I'm feeling all sides. I don't feel the rod. So I know it's not the space bounty hunter guy. So this must be the gamer boy. Let's have a look. Yep, that's his headpiece with the headset. And let's just take him out. It's a pretty nice torso. And don't worry, I'll, I'll show you all the figures in just a bit. And that's the piece that I was feeling. So once again, uh, another one felt. So that's the key, really just find the accessory. So the next one I'm feeling. Okay, there's an accessory here. This feels like uh, an animal. Okay, so it could be several, it could be the dog, it could be this guy over here, or it could be the duck, though I don't think it feels like the duck. So I'm thinking it's either this guy or this guy. So I'm going to look for the next accessory. So it's a magnifying glass or a shovel. So I'm going to look for that. That's the base plate. I also feel something over here. What's this? This feels like, this feels like a hat. So the only one of a cowboy style hat is this guy over here. So that's the explorer, Indiana Jones type guy. So I felt the hat, I felt that, I guess it must have been an iguana. Just to confirm, I'm gonna look for the magnifying glass, which is very distinct as well. Yep, and I, I felt it, it's right here. So I can feel the rod as well as the round part of the magnifying glass. So I felt three different accessories it must be the explorer so let's see if i'm right yep we got the right guy that's the hat i was feeling just now magnifying glass and the first thing that i felt was the iguana which is this guy over here so very odd shape easy enough to feel great let's go for the next one once again I'm feeling, that's the legs, torso, so I ignore that. Ah, this is very easy, see that? So that's a large triangle 3D piece, and that can only mean it is the pizza boy. And I'm really happy I have this because uh, I've got my pizza stands, and this guy would be a great mascot. Uh, you have the pizza boy. 
and all the parts. You know, when you're buying a bunch, uh, make sure you don't throw away these packets too early, just in case you leave one of the small pieces behind. Now, uh, this one is easy as well. So this is a, is a great hint. This is the biggest pack, meaning that the most number of things inside, and that really can mean only one thing, and that's this uh, bicycle girl. So it's got a bike with the girl, and, and I can tell you, just from experience from past sets, there's also a plastic bag inside. So probably the bike is in a plastic bag inside this. So it's, it's bigger and you feel an extra bag inside. So that's a tip if you're looking for this particular character. So let's see if I'm right. That's the bike frame. So obviously it's the bike. And we have some parts in a plastic bag. I have no idea why they pack these in a bag uh, and not other mini figs, but it's probably part of the production process. And then we have the tires as well. Over here, that's the base plate. Once again, I'm trying to look for parts. That's the instructions. Now, don't get fooled by the instructions. This is folded up, as you saw, in a very small packet, and you might think it's some kind of a, a flexible towel. It isn't. Okay, so I feel this. I feel something small. And I feel... Okay, so this... I'm not sure if you can see this here. This is quite a big giveaway. This is actually like a torso cover. And there's only one minifig with a torso cover and that's the knight because that's his suit of armor. So I'm not sure I can feel the shield as well. So I'm going to look for the shield just to make sure I'm correct. So shake things up a bit. Nope. Nope. Yep, I've got something. See that? Let me just get the shape for you so you can see it. That's the shield. And there's only one minifig in this series with a shield. So let's cut that open and show you the parts that I felt. See, that's the armor piece. Very distinctive. And they have the shield. Great, always welcome armors as well. Just a couple more to go. So don't be embarrassed if you're at a shop, okay? Real Lego fans do this. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed. And, and you should look very professional. Uh, don't have a puzzled look on your face when you do this. Just make it seem as though you know exactly what you're doing. And uh, other people will think you're cool. I have no idea if they think you're cool, but uh, that's something you can tell yourself. Okay, I feel this feels like a maybe a ponytail. I'm going to ignore that. So this one feels a bit odd. Okay, there's a piece over here. Oh, this, this feels like a dog. Yeah, this feels definitely, this feels like a dog. And that's the, I guess, the Cocker Spaniel over here. So... If I want to confirm it's a dog, I can feel for another dog. Oh, there's a little pool here. You can feel that, but it's pretty small. But I'm going to look for the shovel because the shovel is pretty easy to feel. You feel that long rod and it's very distinctive. So I'm going to see if I can... Yep, I got it right here. That's the shovel. Let's see if I can sh just show you the shape here. So that's the head of the shovel. And this is the rod. So I know this is the dog walker and it's great they provide two dogs and we get a different dog mode as well which is always welcome and look at this that's a little lego pool which is very welcome wonder if they give more than one piece of pool probably not but we get yeah we get the dog the cocker spaniel and we get another Little puggy looking dog here. Great. Four more to go. So now you now the thing it's easier for me now because uh, I'm going by the process of elimination. But when you're at the shop, you're really feeling through a whole bunch and you generally feel a lot of duplicates. 
because in a box there are different duplicate sets okay i feel something round this i believe is a ball let's see very distinctly the ball or an egg but since nothing has a egg or oh, well it's an egg because it's a rugby ball it feels like an egg so i'm quite sure this is the rugby guy but to make sure i'm going to look for the helmet because the helmet is very distinctive you feel it and it's got yeah right here see this helmet has got ear guards very distinctive so that's easy enough and i can tell you just from my experience there were a lot of the space bounty guys a lot of the egyptian mummy and a lot of this rugby guy yeah there you have let's see that's the ball right there oh mods inside yep yeah, that's the helmet as well very distinctive what do we have over here now okay i feel a towel so there's a small towel here and if i if i feel the towel right at the side of the towel i think you can see that it's actually rounded now there's only one figure with a towel with a rounded side and that's the space bounty hunter guy which is, actually looks really cool so let's open that up see that's the space bounty hunter guy very cool i think and that's the towel with the rounded end what else do we have inside here we have a space gun which would be quite hard to fuel actually uh, but there's this as well this is a set of shoulder pads or an epaulet that he'll wear around his shoulder now i should point out there's more than one figure with this epaulet the other epaulet belongs to the monkey king and the monkey king is this guy over here that's sun Wukong. he's a mythical chinese uh, character he's a monkey but he's got special powers see so don't get confused by these two if you want to distinguish between the monkey god and the space guy, don't worry about the epaulet. Go for the towel with the rounded end. Uh, when it comes to the monkey god, I'll show it to you what to feel. Because I've only got two more left. So it's either going to be the monkey god or the Egyptian lady. Mummy. I'm not going to call her the lady. So I'm feeling this. That's the top legs. Okay, something over here. Okay, this is actually quite distinct once you get used to it. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but it's like a bit of like a shoe, a large shoe, but there's something curved up here. And I can tell you what that is. That is actually the scorpion of the Egyptian mummy. So I can tell you for a fact that this is the mummy. And I felt a lot of the Egyptian mummies in the pack. There you have it. And that's the scorpion uh, I talking about. See, feel for that. That's very distinctive. So this last one, I do not need to feel it because I know it's the Monkey King. And I'm so happy to get this. As I think it's really the most distinctive out of the set. And I think this is probably to please the Chinese market. Now, for the Monkey King, what you want to feel for is the epaulet, as I mentioned. But then you want to look for the rod. So this is the only one with a rod over here. So when i felt this i felt for the epaulet first and after i felt for the epaulet i felt for the rod because i wasn't sure whether it was something else and there you have right there you know what this is hilarious so this isn't the monkey king after all i, I can feel it right now this maybe i picked up a wrong one this is another space invader because Maybe I felt it was a rod or maybe we took a wrong one. This is hilarious. So this is a space invader. I don't even have to open this up actually. Uh, this is actually wrong. So I got 12 out of the 16. Now the ones I didn't get, obviously now Monkey King. I'm sad about that. I have to find the Monkey King. Uh, I wanted this guy as well. This is quite distinctive because you can feel for the duck and you can feel for the comb, the comb or the brush. That's distinctive. The other one that uh, I couldn't get was the foxy lady. Again, you can feel for three things. The sack, the little chicken, and uh, the large fox head. 
this rainbow bear i wasn't too keen i'm, I'm glad i didn't find it uh, because this is not something i want but i think uh, again distinct you find this curved tile this larger curved tile and then you confirm it with the big head i think finding the heart can be tough feeling on the outside so looks like i got 12 out of the 16 i'm not going to open this simply because i know what it is and i i do not i i can maybe sell this or exchange it with someone so not too bad i think i'll i think i'll go on the hunt again and i'll try to look for the other four that i didn't get but i hope you enjoyed this blind bag test uh, don't go away because i'm now going to put all of them together and just to show you the various minifigs and here's a quick look at all the collector minifigures that I got in this series for this time. I won't do a full review because I'm sure there are other people who have done it. But generally, I'm really happy with the series. I think they fit well for a Lego City. You get a lot of handy figures such as the Fire Lady, the Dog Walker, who incidentally uh, comes with two pieces of Lego poop, which is good. The Bicycle Girl Rugby Player. The Space Bounty Hunter is a bit odd, but if you're doing a TV show or something, or you just want someone to invade you from space, that will work. The Pet Shop Lady, or the Pet Owner, would fit in a pet shop, so that's a Freudian slip. The Gamer Girl or Coder is good. The Gamer Boy is good. This Explorer can always uh, be looking for new artifacts in the LEGO City. Pizza Guy, always welcome. Uh, these two at the end, well, the Mummy of the Night, maybe you could fit them in a museum or something. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with this series. I should mention all the minifigs on the left, uh, starting with the Bounty Hunter. All these over here, including the Gamer Girl, they all have two expressions, uh, one in the front and one in the back. But I'm sure you can check out other people's reviews to really get a good closer look at all the minifigs. Well, once again, I hope this blind bag guide will help you. Now, don't make the mistake I got and uh, think you got the Monkey King. Really feel for the epaulet and then uh, look for that bar or that rod, which would be the magical staff that he carries. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Check out these two videos before you go.